Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is all about some graphics properties that you may not know. Maybe I'm trying to make myself feel better, but I didn't know this one setting. In fact, I now know this setting because when I talked to uh, my contacts at Adobe, the person that I talked to also didn't know this either. And we actually had to go to the engineer that created this and uh, he set us straight. So you may not know this. If you did, then you're smarter than me. It has to do with the graphics properties and how corners are interacting. And the way that the, the uh, path hits one corner to another. Is it sharp? Is it chopped off or is it round? Now I knew those settings existed. They've been around for vector paths forever, ever since Illustrator many decades ago. And they were added to Premiere Pro a while ago, but there's two places for this. They look exactly the same, but they have completely different reasons for operating. Let's go have a look. So I'll go to my graphics workspace. So we can open up these properties and look at what's going on. Let me just make things larger here because I, I need a little bit more room to see this. Okay, so I've got text here with a stroke on it in three different ways. And if you look at this, you can see that we've got sharp edges, we've got rounded edges, and then we've got these chopped off edges here. The same with the star, and this star was created using the path tool or the pen tool in uh, Premiere Pro. And you can see here's a sharp edge, here's a round edge, and here's a cut off edge. So let me select the first text up here. And in the graphics property, there's a little wrench, graphics properties. When you click on this, you can see that this is set as a miter joint, butt cap, and a miter limit. Okay. Let's just leave that alone and go look at the other ones. So the middle one, and you have to close this each time, the middle one is round and round, no miter limit. Anytime you don't have a miter joint setting on the top, then the miter limit amount is irrelevant. It's round. And then the last one, bevel, square, no miter limit. And that's the same for the stars down at the bottom. But here's what I didn't know. I'll select the first one again, and in the little Essential Graphics panel menu, there are text and shape properties here. And when I click on this, tell me that that doesn't look exactly like the other one. It's the exact, and this was the thing that was confusing the hell out of me years ago when this was introduced. I was excited because I know this feature in Illustrator and I was trying it out in Illustrator and I knew it, cool, no problem. I come in here and when you make a change to the flyout menu rather than the wrench, this changes the next object you draw. So my request to the engineer was, we'll stop calling this graphics properties and call this graphics properties preset that you're changing anyway. So any changes I make here to this, so if I change this to round, round, okay, you won't see any changes. And this is what frustrated me to no end. I thought it must be broken because every time I change, no, 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 that setting is for the next time I type the word with that. Okay, so if you go to, to this one, you'll now see it's, it's still on miter. So if I change this to round, round, okay, now it's round. Do. Oh. So um, I, I think they're pretty self-explanatory, uh, the hard edge. The one thing that, that can be a little confusing is the miter limit. So this, I've, I've got an example here just to show you what goes on. I'm gonna, I've got the pen tool and I'm gonna drag around the point and you see as I drag around the point, uh, sometimes you'll see that switch from that butt end to that miter joint. 
And that has to do with the MITRE limit number. Same thing in Illustrator or really any vector graphics engine. So if we go back over to the wrench and we change this number, so I'll just drag it to a higher number and you'll see it shows up. So the MITRE limit is the distance uh, between those two points on that shape. So as this shape gets bigger or smaller, depending on that miter limit, it will show up. The bottom line is if you wanted a sharp point and it's not showing up, just change that to a larger number. So I think those are really the, the only options you would change, whether it's a butt edge, round edge, or it has a point so that you can create um, very interesting graphics like this. And, and this was, when Adobe added the multiple strokes. So down here, this button here adds more strokes. Just so you know how this works, I can add a new stroke and I can make that stroke even larger. Go back to the wrench, go back to making this miter, but boom, and now it's that hard edge. So, so there you go. Two completely identical settings that have different functions. One is for the thing you have selected now, the other is for the thing you're going to make next with no indication to the uh, editor what the heck they mean. So hopefully uh, the, the engineer at Adobe hears me and, and uh, we change that top one to effects to uh, graphics property preset um, very easily. Kind of an odd uh, tutorial, I know, but I, I made this for the people out there that are confused. If you've ever tried this um, and you found it didn't work like me, then yay, <laughs> now you know the right way to do it. But if you were smarter than me, then let me know in the comments. Hey, Colin, you bonehead, I knew this the very first time. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. Um, if you're new to Video Revealed and you knew this, then thank you very much for, for subscribing anyway. There are uh, you know over 400 videos where you'll learn stuff that I do know. Um, and if you want to support us more, you can do that on our store, videorevealed.com slash shop. You can donate once or monthly, any amount you want. There's a bunch of free stuff to download and you can subscribe to our membership while you're there. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to admit when I don't know everything.